لهم فيها ما يشاءون خالدين كان على ربك وعدا مسؤولا Ten, eleven. Let's go. I done fifteen. So you gotta beat me. This brother. Why are you trying to beat me by one? Up, he was checking his body fat percentage. All right, so thoughts. Boom. Guess what? My BMI is okay. What's your body fat percentage? So 59.7 kg is my current body weight. I went down from 63. I've been on a cut for a couple of weeks. Uh, you go to muscle 42.2 grams. Fat is looking mad, 15.2. How does it know how to do this? I've done some research on chat GPT. Basically what they do is they send electrical sin signals. That's why you don't want to wear a pacemaker and you want to basically mm. on, you want to take your shoes off and your socks off to do it, basically. It's not like 100% accurate. It depends on how much water, how dehydrated you are. Yeah. Last time I ate was last night at like seven. So it's been a good, 15, 16 hours since the last eight. You know what, you hop in this and then right, we're have this. All right, so Zaid's doing his scan. Oh, as you can see, he's clearly six foot two. Okay, results, yeah? Bismillah. All right, 87.8 .8 kg, good BMI, just like me, probably better than mine though. Ooh, I won't worry, I won't lie. That's, that's very good. Is it? That is very good. Why? Because this is fat now, that was muscle. Muscle is green for everybody, but fat. So I don't have much fat on me. Yeah, it's it's no, it's healthy levels of fat. So you got thirteen point nine kg of fat. So I don't understand this. Can you explain it? You're gonna explain my results. Wait, guys, I'm only a first year medical student. He's fifth year, right? Basically, I've done some research on ChatGPT as well. What it means is that green means is healthy levels. Basically, for your BMI, that's what expecting. That's what they expected from your muscles, from your fat. So as you can see. Zaid one's very healthy, along very. His water levels, it's okay as well. Okay, so it's still, as you can see, it's pretty healthy, very healthy actually, along very. And ideally, you probably want to get up to here. That's the goal. If you can get to 76, 77 kg of uh, total fat free mass, that's the how do you, how do you know? Because that means you're going to have more muscle mm. for the same amount of body fat rate. Okay. Uh, well, I, don't, I only just started gymming again. It's been a while. Yes, you're right. Oh, that's your metabolic age of a 19 year old. I'm the age of Allah Mubarak. That's, uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but that that's means what I'm, you mean by that means that's, metabolic I'm, that's means, That means I'm as old as a, technically a 19 year old. That's how old you are. No, that's how old you are physically. According to the mission. Alhamdulillah. Allah this is all from Ibadah. Because Ibadah makes you have more barakah in your body. BMI is pretty good. So I'm just healthy in everything, alhamdulillah. Everything, So I Wait, so if I have the age of a 19 year old in terms of metabolic, does that mean I still have the same level of uh, testosterone? Bro, you're 50 a medical student. Why are you asking me this question? Bro, I'm misdeen, bro. So, Tell them the importance of being healthy as a Muslim. Yeah, it's very important, remember. In Allah, Allah doesn't look at your appearances, but what he does look at is your good deeds, and he looks at your actions. But at the same time, being healthy means you have good actions because you're obviously pleasing your spouse, you're taking care of your body because if you're healthy, you're able to do more ibadah anyway. So Yeah, because there's a Bedouin that came to Rasulullah and said, Man khiyarun nas, who are the best of people. And he said, Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, those who have a longer life and those who do Lots of good deeds in that one life. Obviously, nobody knows when they're gonna die. I think we mentioned this in the previous vlog, but let's go to the sauna for some more reminders. All right. Assalamu alaikum. We're going to the sauna and stay here. So, guys, we're gonna pick up some of these. Well, they call them yoga mats, but we call them prayer mats because. <laughs> 
Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, come on Zaid, take this, take this, take this, take this. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, bro. See, you dropped. Why? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah says, Yabna Adam, Akfini bi arba'i rak'atin awwal an nahari, Akfika bihinna akhira yawmik. O oh, son of Adam, Allah is talking to you and me. Everyone watching on the screen, Allah is talking to you. O oh, son of Adam, suffice me with four rak'at, yeah, at the start of your day, yeah, and Allah will look after you for the rest of the day. Everything you need will be looked after. All of your worries will be alleviated. All of your anxieties will be taken away. Everything you want, Allah will give it to you. Ibn Taymiyyah, he says that these are the two rak'at sunnah of Fajr and then Fajr prayer itself. However, some scholars say that it is four rak'at of Salat al-Duha in units of two and two. So just to be safe, make sure you do your sunnah of Fajr and then Fajr, inshallah, in congregation, in jama'ah. As Rasulullah says in another hadith, وَلَوْ يَعْلَمُونَ مَا فِي الْعَتَمَةِ وَالصُّبْحِ لَأَتَوْهُمَا وَلَوْ حَبَّ If they knew the reward of praying Fajr and Ashim congregation in the mosque, they would have gone. O oh, men, even if they had to crawl. As for the sisters, you do the same thing, sit and get your place of prayer at home and waiting until the time for the idan has come and then the iqamah and just stay in your place. And we also know that the duha prayer is for who? The people who are? Those who are truly awwabin and shakirin to Allah. If you say that you are sincere in your repentance, then you'll pray the duha prayer. You've done a sin, you'll pray the duha prayer to show Allah, oh Allah, I'm taking the time of my busy day to pray this prayer. And of the shakirin, Allah says, I'malu ala Dawood al shukra. O family of Dawood, show gratitude to me by your actions. So this is shown by a salat al duha, okay? Make sure to try and pray salat al duha, minimum two. You can see the swimming pool from here. The swimming pool that we are at, I didn't even know. Okay, guys. Uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I don't know if this is going at the beginning of the vlog or at the end of the vlog But I am going to be cooking today Now if you're asking What this I'm not gonna lie to you guys I actually don't know which pans to use for which foods I usually just think they're all the same as long as it's big enough, it does the job, but I don't know, I'm not really like a cooking type of guy. If you're wondering like, why am I going to be cooking, it's because I just came back from uni, right? 7pm, and I'm on a cut, so I'm trying to lose weight, you guys know, right? But it's going pretty well so far, I think I'm down from 63kg to 59 but I don't know when this vlog is going to go up. It might go out next week, it might go out in six weeks time, so I have zero clue. But just know uh, my vlogs in general are not in order. So I've got some minced meat fresh from the butchers. But basically the reason why I'm doing this, right, is because the whole day I was at uni, right? And this couple of weeks I've been working very, very hard. I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? Uh, I've been making content a lot. You guys know I've been extremely consistent. I made one YouTube video every single week for three and a half years. And only very recently the channel's been popping off a lot. Uh, so that's um, very nice, alhamdulillah. But me personally, guys, the way I see all of this is this is my personal journey, YouTube, making vlogs. I can always look back at it and if at least one person benefits from my vlogs, if it helps you to come closer to the deen, then that's something that's going to be there for me on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Man jaa'a bil hasanati falahu ashwa amthaliha wa man jaa'a bil sayyati fala yuhza illa mislaha illa mislaha wa hum la yudlamun. So whoever comes on Yawm Al-Qiyamah with one good deed, then you will have 10 good deeds written and whoever comes with one bad deed Allah Azza wa will only write us one bad deed so he multiplies the good deeds but your bad deeds uh, he he just writes as he is and of course uh, Allah Azza wa Jal says قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقُنَةٌ لِرَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ that all my servants who have transgressed against yourselves uh, by you know sinning do not despair of the mercy of Allah indeed Allah forgives all sins every single sin as long as you come back to him in repentance and you're sincere and we know Allah says 
that Allah Azza wa Jal in Surah Ghafir chapter 40 verse number 3 he says that he is the uh, forgiver of uh, uh, your sins and he's the acceptor of your repentance and he's also shadid al aqab he is severe in punishment uh, and Allah Azza wa Jal also says uh, in Surah uh, Hijr chapter 15 verse 49 and 50 if I'm not mistaken that uh, O Muhammad tell my servants that that I am the most uh, forgiving and the most merciful uh, that, and also that my punishment is a severe punishment uh, so of course we should fear Allah Azza wa Jal and uh, we should also have good thoughts of him so always asking for repentance as we know the hadith Qudsi that I am as my servant thinks of me uh, but before I was given the reminder I kind of forgot what I was talking about uh, but basically uh, I've been working very hard with the vlogs and you know uh, balancing medical school which is very hard uh, and anybody who's a medical student probably knows and then you know balancing that with working out five times a week um, and you know there's so much going on there is the business aspect by the way if anybody needs tutoring productivity coaching you know MMI interviews medical school dental school applications anything you guys need link down there in the description below uh, go on our website we have ebooks we have everything to help you out so please do check that out but other than that I have been very 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 busy I won't lie to you guys I didn't have much time to do the things that I usually do um, you know spend more time with family and you know just enjoy sometimes scroll through Instagram TikTok which is not good by the way I'm not saying you should you guys should do that uh, but what I'm saying is uh, I've been very very busy and uh, sometimes that's why the vlogs might be a bit shorter sometimes they might be a bit longer uh, because you know there's a lot of things going on but Alhamdulillah and I was saying to myself you know what um, I just want to take a break today, 7 p.m. And I'm going to go sleep at like 9.30 p.m. inshallah. So let me come, let me enjoy, let me make a little bit of a vlog, give some benefits and let me cook something nice, hopefully, uh, and enjoy and just chill for the next two and a half hours, you know, before I do my bedtime routine and go to sleep and tomorrow morning, inshallah, wake up nice uh, and early. But anyway, I probably should start cooking ASAP. I don't really know where to find... Wait. Uh, oh, there you go. So the onions are here. I won't lie guys, I haven't cooked in my house in a long time. Um, so, you know, I've been eating out or I've been eating, well, I've been eating out to be honest for, for the past two months now, I think two months. Basically, for those of you guys wondering, basically my parents went on holiday for a while and my family was out to Bangladesh and uh, I was basically staying home a lot by myself. Well, I was staying home by myself. So because my family left, um, you know, I was just eating out every single day and obviously Zaid came to live with me and then, you know, I've just been uh, working very, very hard. But hopefully, inshallah, when my parents come back and everything's sorted very soon, inshallah, I think my mom's coming back very soon. Uh, then uh, I don't need to, you know, I spend that much time uh, cooking and ordering food every single day. Uh, so I guess this is like a random update I'm giving you guys. But let me start cooking because, you know, I don't want to... Because cooking takes really long. Really, really long. Hmm? I'm gonna get rid of this big one. Yeah, there you go. Like that. See? Look at how symmetrical these are. Oh, I'm actually starting to cry, guys. I should probably heat up the pan. Actually, yo, 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 I'm crying. I'm getting so emotional. Boom. Like that. Yo, look at that. Look at that. It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. I need to change the camera angle. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, 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 oh. Bismillah. Ah, I messed up. I messed up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it was burning up the whole thing. Boom, look at that. Oh no, that's the wrong one, sorry, that's too small. It's this one. Whoa, did you guys see that? I'm gonna use some olive oil because I think it's healthier. I won't lie, I read some stuff about it on chat GPT. Like sometimes I ask like random questions to chat GPT, but I think it's the same number of calories as sunflower oil, but I like to use olive oil more. So I'm just gonna clean all of this up. We don't wanna overdo with the oil guys, remember? When you're cutting down weight, oil is a lot of calories. I think it's 120 calories per like tablespoon or, or like teaspoon or something like that. A little bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. So we're going to go for two. Actually, I don't know if this is ideal, but I'm going for two. And this is what I'm going to go ham now, inshallah. Boom. You're just going to cut it like crazy. Fast. From all directions. Before you know it, boom. The onion's been cut. Doesn't even expect it. Look, look at this piece of onion. 
boom like that so what you want to do is make it nice and thin because that way it cooks better and i feel like the i don't know what to say but you know it's just going to taste better hopefully inshallah so now what you're doing essentially guys is you got a bit of everything in it boom 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 like that oh this smells really good this smell like fresh fresh so you see the inside you want to take this part out Get rid of any of the extra stuff and then meanwhile you're gonna cut this part cut that part and cut the insides of it and then i'm not going to use this part there you go i'm gonna make them much thinner ah yo guys 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 oh oh Yo, hold on, hold on. I'm not bleeding. I need to be more careful with this. Am I bleeding? Looks like I'm not bleeding. All right, false alarm. Maybe I need the bigger knife. Let me see. Do I have a bigger knife? Ooh, that's the knife I was looking for. Guys, don't forget to do the dishes. I'm gonna add some paprika. I'm gonna do something nobody has ever done. This is honey. Look, 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 guys. I'm doing something that nobody else has ever done. Because we know honey, there is blessing in it. Allah Zawajal mentions it in Surah Nahal. Ooh, look at that. Not too much, because we're on a cut, right? Did you guys forget? I almost forgot this main touch. And that is some lemon to get some vitamin C so that you don't get ascorbic acid deficiency. Which leads to... What was it? Scurvy! Scurvy, yeah, I think that's how you say it. So, yeah, I've been doing my lectures a little bit, although I'm still behind. Ooh. It's too much. The camera's gonna get foggy. She legit black seed oil, which I sometimes add. Well, I barely cook anyway, so I don't really add. But look at that, guys. And the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, That from the black seed, he, uh, there is a cure for every single disease except death. So I always like to sprinkle a few uh, of this premium black seed oil. You've got literally every single vitamin. Look at that. Let me show you from here so you guys can see garlic bread and all of that 500 grams of lean beef and this is what you get guys alhamdulillah quick little taste test alhamdulillah this is probably one of the best things i've ever made guys this recipe i need to drop it to you guys black seed oil honey all that random stuff that you guys saw me put in somehow Alhamdulillah, I'm actually speechless guys. Maybe it's because I'm simply hungry and I'm on a cut. I didn't really eat much for the entire day, so maybe maybe I'm hungry, but I won't lie, this is different. Like it's it's different. Inshallah, when I'm bulking up, this is the kind of meal I want to be eating. How inevitable is death and how distracted are we? This is a reminder for myself first and foremost and to you lot that one day we are gonna be buried in our graves, six feet under the ground. And we will have no one except for our deeds, what we've done in this life and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet said, remember often the destroyer of pleasures, meaning death.